Hey, how's it going fellow fantasy football fans? Welcome to week 8 of fantasy football. Glad you guys are liking that weekly pick em contest we got. This week, uh, you get to select a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and whoever scores the most fantasy football points wins a men's t-shirt. We'll also be selling these online shortly. We also have uh, lady shirts. They're pretty nice. Check those out. And this week you'll be playing against me on the Pick'em Contest. Uh, for week eight, I'm going to go with my quarterback, Peyton Manning. Running back, I'm going to go with Javid Best, just so um, I won't be picking the same running back as you guys, going with a the sleeper there. And for my wide receiver, I'm going to go ahead and go with Reggie. Let's talk about the Colts. Um, got a huge injury. The best tight end in fantasy football is on IR, Dallas Clark. They seem to always have receiver injury uh, injuries in the receiver position. So some things you can do. I'd keep an eye out on the backup tight ends, Jacob Tammy and Brody Eldridge. See which one's going to be the receiving tight end. Since they're a passing team, it's very good to look at their receivers. Austin Colley's out. Uh, Dallas Clark's on IR. Anthony Gonzalez is going to be coming back real soon. I don't know if he's going to be back week 8, but we'll have to see. He may be a good pickup. Blair White may be a good pickup in deep leagues if Anthony Gonzalez isn't playing. And for the Vikings, a lot of questions here. We don't know what's really going on. Favre looks really banged up. Um, he's an old guy. And those, uh, those injuries are really catching up to him. What I do know is that no surgery is required for his injuries, for the ankle injury. We don't know for sure if he's going to play. My guess is that he is going to play week eight, but we don't know for sure. Whether or not uh, Brett, Favre play, uh, Brett, Brett Favre starts or Tarvis Jackson starts, Shanko is still a must start. We know that the Patriots have given up 27th most fantasy points for the tight end position, so Shanko's a must start. Randy Moss, Percy Harvin, go ahead and start them. What to do, though, if you're a Bernard Berrien owner? simple as this, drop them. You're not going to be able to trade them. I drop them. There's a ton of wide receivers that you can take a risk on on waivers. Pick one of those guys up, but drop Barron. What to do if you're a Ryan Matthews owner? A little bit of disappointment for people that drafted this Chargers running back. Um, you can't really drop him. It's going to be tough to trade him. He has great matchups weeks 9 through 13. So go ahead and keep him. Just bear with him. Start him weeks 9 through 13. He plays the Texans, the Broncos. He plays the Raiders and the Colts. They give up a lot of yards on the ground. So go ahead and start him there. What to do if you're a Lawrence Maroney owner? Simple a simple answer. Drop him. You're not going to be able to trade him. Um, I believe that the Patriots got rid of him for a reason because he sucks. I want to talk a little bit about handcuffing. For those of you who don't know what handcuffing is, it's when you draft a stud running back and then you go ahead and draft or pick up his backup just in case that stud running back gets injured. So it's like an insurance policy. Before the season started, I didn't have any solid handcuffs, any handcuffs that I'd recommend to you guys. The years before, there were some good handcuffs with LT and Mike Turner back in the day, um, 07 and whatnot. But nowadays, there's not great handcuffs. But it's week eight, and I do want to talk about it a little bit. Chris Johnson, you can handcuff him with Javon Rainer. I don't recommend this one. I haven't seen Javon Rainer's a, a good running back, but he's not a fan. He's not going to be putting up a lot of fantasy points for you. MJD, you can handcuff him with uh, with Jennings. I also don't recommend this handcuff. It's not. It's not a good one. Not going to give you a lot of a lot of upside here. Adrian Peterson with Tony Gearhart. This is slightly better than the MJD handcuff, but I still wouldn't recommend it. We haven't seen a lot of spark from Gearhart. He does have potential for his career, and he's a rookie, but he's not going to be putting anywhere close to AP numbers. Now, some handcuffs that I do recommend that have surprised me is getting Derek Ward for it if you're an Arian Foster owner. Now, Derek Ward is not a great running back. But the Texans seem to be a really good running team this year. There's something that's been missing with the Texans. Michael Bush, a sleeper that was on my list, is another surprise handcuff that I'd recommend. Michael Bush is a decent bench player and a decent bye week starter. Now for this coming week against the Seahawks, uh, Michael Bush probably won't do too much against the decent run defense that the Seahawks have. 
But if you're a Darren McFadden owner and you have plenty of room on your bench, picking up Michael Bush is not a bad decision. Well, check us out every week. Uh, check out our videos, youtube.com slash fantasy couch. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at fantasy couch. And check out the website, fantasycouch.com. Check you guys next week.